Well, I might as well get this done before they impose quarantine. That sucks. What idiot politician thought of that? Oh, hello, folks. I'm the one, the only. I am a hobo, Tom. And this is the Hobo and Girlfriend Wrestling Show. Eventually, one day, we're gonna have pictures and hopefully a, a girlfriend one day, if I can ever leave my house without quarantine and go do stuff that I need to do, like banking, grocery shopping, going to the beach, staring at girls in bikinis. Wow, they're really oh fishing. Gonna ban all the fun things in life. Damn it, some idiot politician. All because those basketball players went to China, touched too many Chinese people. Oh, that's that's very bad. I I, I feel shame. But yeah, well, it is what it is out there. You know, you guys know what's happening out the world. But I'm here to bring some entertainment joy, and maybe a little bit of semi news. Um, wait a second to do that. Major announcement. I might, because I've heard other people do it, and I don't want to get too far behind the curve, because I do have my whole note stuff, so it shouldn't be that hard. So, I think the major announcement is I might be going to Twitch for a little bit. I have to figure out how, because I know I don't have, well, in theory, I do. I guess maybe. The three hour show. Yeah, maybe. I don't know. I have to fiddle with stuff tomorrow. So, tomorrow, thanks. Tomorrow, unfortunately, nothing's open. So, I have a whole day of doing absolutely nothing. I might run to the bank. Because if they impose quarantine, I have to pay off the truck. Banks don't care, truck people don't care. But, yeah, I might be going to, to Ichne Twitch a something, uh, mainly because Ray de Reyes is coming on tomorrow night. For some reason, the Mexicans don't care about as much as the coronavirus as the Americans do. Such panic. So many chicken littles out there in the world. I don't know. Oh, oh yes, it finished. Yep. Finito. There we go. Now it's back to normal usage. That's awesome. Let's see here. So, save you. Yes, I do want to save you. I'm going to post you. I'm actually going to start posting you right now. That way I can power. So, I'm here to talk about. Well, I'm, I'm sorry. I've kind of rattled on a little bit. But right now, I'm here to talk about some pro wrestling. In order to start off my show, Tyler, thank you very much. I will try to keep post as much content as I can, especially during these trying times. And Tyler, just for your comment, you've earned the six count.
lustrous hair. Again, if you would like your own little shout-out video, shout-out video dedication, yeah, if you just kind of say anything, like Tyler, he left a comment on my AEW Dynamite show. It's a review show because, yeah, I tried to do stuff there that didn't work out so well. Um, again, if you like, comment, and subscribe, you can also... It's your shout out video. You can also email at hobo and girlfriend at gmail.com. So, all that being said, is that the right one? Yeah. I guess so. We'll find out. How long is this one? No, well, it should be. Oh, that's right. Yeah, because that was a capture file. Okay. Yep, so that makes sense. I'm sorry, I'm trying to do like 100 things right now. So uh, let me talk about some pro wrestling. I type away a little bit. Uh, we had Rob Gronkowski showing up to open up SmackDown. And wow, this SmackDown was a letdown. I was kind of hoping that Triple H would show up. I don't think... The boss was too happy. I forget if it's Reyes or Reyes. Oh, well, someone will correct me. But it was just Michael Cole and eh. I don't know. Triple H added so much to the commentary. It was just fun, though. So you're the only place people can gather now. So there we go. There's, there's a shot across the bow, folks. Copy. Next. Next. Public next. Okay, there we go. I'll take like a couple of minutes. Oh, wow, only two minutes? That's impressive. But, oh, wait a second. Yeah, so we have Rob Gronkowski. I know I'm doing a lot. I'm kind of winding down my night. I want to figure out, would like to relax a little bit more and figure out if I have to wake up tomorrow. Uh, so we have Rob Gronkowski. Again, we have the return of the hype brother, Mojo Rally in his zoo pass suit. His pink zebra or tiger. Stripe lapel zebra Zubaz suit. Mojo Rally, thank you so much. You put a smile on my face. Um, and I'll tell you what, this was Gronk got some terrible entrance music. He got like some like club song from the nineties and one of those rare club songs that should have stayed in the club in the nineties. And he came out dancing like the uh, Six Flags little guy. I'm like, the Macarena. Yes. I did the Macarena once at work. My coworker laughed at me. I don't care. They, they weren't even taking the Macarena. That was the funny part. Uh, so Gronk comes out, starts an interview. They get hype. Poor Michael Cole stuck in between the two two of the new hype brothers. Then Baron Corbin. Hey, I'm a wrestler too. Comes out, runs down Gronkowski. Yeah, this is not your place. You get hurt both in and out the ring. You can in the football. You can only get hit on hurt on the field. Here you can get hit anywhere. And Elias comes out, uh, starts to sing a song. And then it was a great moment because there was a true schoolboy takedown. Uh, Baron Corbin starts to confront 
Rob Gronkowski. He forgets totally about Mojo Rally. Mojo Rally goes behind Baron Corbin, gets on his hands and knees. Rob Gronkowski shoves Baron Corbin in something you see on like a schoolyard. Like, I think when I was in the... They even have recess on I don't know. I'm still out of touch with the world. Well, that's okay. And then... There was left at him. And then now we have our eighth match. Match number eight. Because it'll be Baron Corbin taking on Elias at WrestleMania. Then we have our first real match. Although that was a pretty fun segment. It was Daniel Bryan and Drew Gulak taking on the Artist Collective of Shinsuke Nakamura and Cesaro. Um, um, Daniel Bryan and... Uh, he has some good European uppercuts. Cesaro's European uppercuts are much better. And then the Daniel Bryan decides to fly. And he's well trained in flying at least through the ropes. Uh, he said, screw it, I'm just going through the ropes. There was no hesitation like there was in AEW. They're like, oh, that's the barricade. I think Daniel Bryan's gone through the, enough, through the ropes enough to such a small crowd. It doesn't really matter to him anymore. So Daniel Bryan flies. Uh, Shinsuke Nakamura and <laughs> Shinsuke Nakamura lands on the table. And then we have San Sami Zayn on commentary. Sammy and people, and I don't know what Michael was saying. It's like, the Sammy Zayn's like, I've been doing this for 11 years. I think he's, yeah, that sounds about right. I don't know if, it might be long. I don't think he's been in the WWE for 11 years. I want to say he has been wrestling, though, for 11 years. That That sounds like a short number, though. I don't know. I thought it was longer. Unless he's only counting like major promotions. You, you never know. These wrestlers make up numbers all the time. Uh, Cesaro, again, he's way too strong, though. He has such like a European uppercut. And then, of course, Shinsuke Nakamura has a sliding German suplex and the knee drop. Uh, Drew Gulak gets in. So technical. It's so fun to watch Drew Gulak and Daniel Bryan tag together. Uh, really, they have great, they have good chemistry. They're great wrestlers. Uh, it's just taking nothing away from Shinsuke Nakamura and Cesaro. It's just fun to. It's, it's just a very technical catch as catch can match, and I and I, I appreciate that. At the end of the match, with a with like a Phoenix power bomb, uh, Cesaro gets rolled up. Uh, Sami Zayn goes bonkers because yeah, they didn't do stuff, but whatever. And again, it was a fun match. This this was a good cheeseburger match. Then there's an announcement every Sunday leading up to Russell. Well, yeah, this Sunday, and next Sunday. We're going to showcase some WrestleManias. This Sunday is going to be WrestleMania 30. It's going to be on ESPN, I think, starting at 7 o'clock. So that should be interesting to see. I, I, I didn't see that. I've seen bits. I, I think I heard about that. I think I've seen bits and pieces of it, though. Because then they went to a Brock Lesnar and Drew McIntyre recap. And then... Uh, Drew Gulak and Daniel Bryan, they're kind of restarching themselves after the match, which is kind of smart. And they get confronted by Sami Zayn, and now this is going to be our ninth match, where they're going to have the IC belt on the line. And then uh, Paige comes out, and, and wow, did, did Paige get collagen injections in her lips? Her lips seem like extra puffy. Uh, so when Paige is talking, then all of a sudden, Bailey has a great laser light show. I'll give this. They've repackaged Bailey pretty good. I do like the fact that she has new laser light. She comes out um, to that like trance dance theme song. I like that more so than her other one. Uh, Sasha came out in some like weird tiger outfit. It was almost near skin tone. It was tiger stripe. And it was that weird like quarter outfit where it exposed her one leg. And her booty cheek. And then I covered up the opposite arm, but then the other arm and like cleavage was showing. So it was a, it was a weird look for, for Sasha Banks. I don't know. Whatever. Sasha Botch. Yeah, Sasha Botch is actually the reason why 
Paige is no longer wrestling. So Paige should really just want to rip into her. Um, but Paige announces the next match. And <laughs> it was funny because then they mentioned Tamina. Oh, yeah, t t Tamina. And it's like, oh, so there's going to be a 10th match because it's going to be a six pack elimination. If I remember, it's going to be Bailey and Sasha, Tamia, Lacey Evans, Dana Brooks, and Naomi. Wow, that's my memory is improving. I'm happy. It's all this yummy, delicious Bengal spice herbal tea I've been instead of my, my normal and copious amounts of red wine for Fridays. And I'm drinking out of my Christmas mug, so thank you, Liz. Mainly because I think I wanted to use it. I have some tea mugs up in the cabinet, so it was just the lucky one. Uh, so that's the 10th match. 10, 10, 10. Because, the, well, the ninth match, number nine, is going to be, oh, what is, oh, let's see here. Don't know. Orlando is in curfew starting today. That's not good. Oh, curfew. Oh, oh, shoot. Curfew is not as bad. Not as bad as quarantine. No, as not 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 whistery. Well, it should be core and. There we go. Autocorrect. Well, see, that just means I have to... Because I was going to go up to Jacksonville Wednesday, too. I have a friend I have to bring supplies to. Yes, and if you have 40 bucks, I'll sell you a bottle of Lysol cleaner, too. 40 bucks, though. At least someone will do some profiteering here. So, we, where was I? Oh, yeah, the ninth match is going to be the IC belt. Even though if... Drew, Gul Drew Gulak has to face Shinsuke Nakamura. If Drew Gulak wins, Daniel Bryan's going to get a shot at the IC title belt, Sami Zayn. That'll be a fun match. Sami Zayn and Daniel Bryan for the IC belt will be good. Then let's see. Yeah, there's a replay of the. Uh, oh, yeah, it was a replay of the Bray Wyatt versus John Cena WrestleMania 30 match. Uh, I think I've talked about that. Was I on doing that? That was. No. It was, a, it was a good enough match. The whole story, I'm not going to go step by step because, again, you can watch that whenever. Um, the main story is is that Bray Wyatt, John Cena is this huge baby face. Bray Wyatt tried everything to get him to turn from that baby face to be the heel. He just got on his knees. End it, John. End it. It was really great. I mean, this is one of those. John Cena is really capable of putting on a flame and yon match when it's someone who has that character and or wrestling skills like and AJ Styles versus John Cena oh amazing matches again flaming on match John Cena versus the character Bray Wyatt oh, so good because John Cena just couldn't put him away and Bray Wyatt's like come on use that sealed chair join the dark side of the force I mean, he was tempting him to become that heel so badly. Again, seeing a John Cena heel turn would be great. That would be a good way for John Cena to leave. He, he, uh, and he wouldn't be necessarily a heel if he takes that one chair. If he smacks Bray Wyatt with that one chair and just ends the Fiend. Not good for the Fiend, but it'd be good for John Cena, though. Then we have Miz and Morrison Dirt Sheet. That was okay. Uh, they, they, it was weird because it was a weird order. Because they uh, prompted them to come to the ring. They kind of did their entrance. Then they went to commercial. And then after commercial, they had a Nikki Cross and Alexa. Interview Alexa challenged uh, Asuka to a match. So we'll see what happens. That'll probably be the 
eleventh match where Alexa Bliss will probably win by shenanigans some by face shenanigans and have to face or win by DQ. Which makes more sense. And then face Asuka and Kairi Sane, the Kabuki Warriors at WrestleMania for their title. Because remember, WrestleMania is going to be two, two days long. So they need... I was joking. Kind of when I said there's, there's going to be 8 of 13 matches. There's probably going to be 18 matches. Yeah. So, yes. 18 to 16 matches over two days. That's about 8 or 9. Oh, wow. I'm sorry, folks. I should have never made that prediction. But then the next we had uh, Miz and Morrison. Again, they did the little uh, dirt sheet thing that was funny. They were they were mimicking Uday, uh, New Day. I, I merged the things there. Uh, they were mimicking New Day and the Usos and and the, the crowd. Though they, they do need wrestlers in the crowd. Like if you have. If you had Mojo Rally and Gronk eating popcorn in the crowd, and them at least having some interaction and feedback with everyone else, and then just everyone else who had a match, instead of like leaving, they would just sit in the audience. They could sit in their wrestling gear with a towel around them. And that that would have made the show better, just like AEW did. I mean, it was an empty arena for AEW. They had like five five faces, five heels. There was enough distance until Colt Cabana started to slap people. WWE could have done the same thing. Just have Mojo Rally and Gronk sitting next to each other, drinking beer, eating popcorn. They all have their individual popcorn to satisfy people. So, you know, just give them their individual popcorn. They all get a nice big, big cup of beer. So you have two beers, two popcorns, Mojo Rally and Gronk. And every so often, they could just interact and provide something. That's all they had to do. It would be that simple. But, and, and have Triple H on commentary. No. I have better ideas, but I'm just a hobo. Jobless hobo. Wow. That, that'll be interesting. Back to the construction sites I go. So then, the next tag team match was Miz and Morrison taking on Heavy Machinery. Oh, Otis! Otis, he's so sharp. He just no sells. He just uh, he just hulks up. Otis is so awesome. They did the trade off suplex. Uh, Tucky did the somersault dive onto the outside onto Miz and Morrison. Uh, Miz and Morrison again. They do their double team. Miz kind of somewhat launches himself into a baseball slide under the ropes. Uh, then they performed the double team gut buster onto Tucky. <laughs> Something about touch. Oh, Take. Oh, it was Take Feely. Yeah, Miz is just funny in the ring. The Miz and Morrison are such great talkers. The Morrison backs it up with his wrestling. The Miz is a lot more conservative. John Morrison, Johnny Mundo, is still one of the best wrestlers, and now I think he's really developing his promo skills. That just might come with age and experience, just like. The Dr. Wagner Jr. with that grizzled voice. And he's so old looking. He just has all this mucho machismo, old man machismo. Like the most interesting man in the world. And then. Yep, Dolph interrupts. He starts to go on commentary, and that's not good. Otis gets distracted. Otis is. He has that. He has that like pure wrestling distraction. Turn the that's Otis is so good. And then Dolph really interrupts, so he, he goes off the commentary. He starts saying, "Hey, hey, hey, Otis! Yeah, yeah listen, that was great that you tried to date Mandy Rose. But look at these selfies I have with Mandy and myself. Oh no, he didn't. Oh, oh. And then after just I'm like, kill Otis." Cal, 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 Cal. Because Otis went like red with rage and like turned into the Hulk. Because he just decided to destroy 
Ms. Morrison, Dolph Ziggler got, got nailed once and then head for the hills. Otis wasn't done. He just saw red. Um, he, he threw the Miz in, into the ring post, which is probably the hardest part of the ring. He caught John Morrison, tossed him into the ring post, drove both the Miz and Morrison through the timekeeper barricade, because the barricade is nothing on Otis. Because I am the barricade. I am the kill, Otis. Kill. <laughs> so there was that. And then Otis picked up the chair. Oh, and he just started to wreck the backs of John Morrison and John Lin and uh, the Miz. I still want to call him John Johnny Mundo still. But I'll tell you what. He just released all his rage and anger. And Tucky's trying to, like, control him. It's like, dude, I wanted to give Otis a big hug, too. Because, obviously, Tucky doesn't care about the personal space. He's like, I got to control this guy. Or, or he is going to kill, 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 kill someone. Because Otis was in, like, the rage. Um, so, Heavy Machine lost by DQ. But I'll tell you what, that was the best DQ finish I've seen in a long time. Otis just like wrecked and then he started to wreck the arena. He threw one of the nice chairs and you can tell I don't think it was a prop chair because the wheel you can see like when the chair fell the wheel actually broke off and went flying somewhere um, Hopefully he didn't damage too much stuff. I mean you, you could tell you he, he just wanted to throw something He like brawn esque destruction Otis with his brawn brawn esque destruction that's good. Um, then we had the uh, Roman Reigns and Goldberg contract signing. This felt like they just said, okay, you're going to go out there, curse at each other, and sign a contract and have a stare down. That's really what it was. Uh, there was a stupid question and answer thing by Michael Cole. So, well, why do you hit your fist on the ground? Because it's a padded fist and it's probably a wooden stage versus like bare head on the metal door. But yeah, so so that oh wait the ma yeah the match itself I'm sorry let me go back to that um, the again the heavy machinery Miz that was the best possible that's the finish baby oh yeah baby oh I'm so happy WWE finally did right for teams baby this is a pure tough and tough match. And then we have the Roman Reigns again, Goldberg contract signing, stare down, curse off. That was SmackDown. I'll tell you what, the, the wrestling, again, this is a tale where the wrestling's good. The presentation stuck, though. The entertainment value of the show was terrible. The wrestling was really good. The storytelling in the ring was really good. Again, Otis just, just red with rage, swing chairs at, at people, objects. Kill! Otis, kill! That was great. Michael Cole and commentary by himself. You can hear crickets over him. Again, if they just very simply had Mojo Rally and... Gronk sitting there could be a chair between them. They each have their own cup of beer. They each have their popcorn and They could interact and they could have made the show that much more exciting feeling. They could just go Kill Otis Kill Kill Otis Kill So again with that we'll see um, So again, the only other thing that's gonna happen tomorrow is that tomorrow Probably Saturday night. I will be giving my Rea de Reyes um, recap. Catch me at Twitch. Yeah, over there. Um, I'm gonna. I'll fiddle with that a little bit tomorrow. Pfft, nothing else better to do. So I'll probably fiddle with that on Twitch. Figure out how to get people to Skype me. Cause I do have a little Skype thing. So we can be a little bit more angry. I don't know how how. 
I don't know how Twitch does it. I have to, again, I have a lot of free time tomorrow, so I have stuff to figure out. Again, it was a weird, weird draw, though. So I'd like to thank everyone for watching. Please like, share, comment, and subscribe. I wonder if there'll be any wrestling period for this if places are in quarantine. Again, Orlando's on curfew from 11 p.m. to 5 a.m. I'm kind of fine. Well, except for Sunday, though. Shoot. That's why I go hoboing. Darn it. I need a hobo. I need my aluminum. But, oh, well. I can do it early, though. They just put it on curfew. Is that what only takes? Something's better than nothing. Oh, well. Bye, folks. Um, be safe. Stay well. And again, at least watch YouTube. Try to entertain yourself, folks. Video games, YouTube. Watch my show. Kill, Otis. Kill. Bye.